This is a Fox News alert. There is new evidence just days before the launch. People inside the White House feared healthcare.gov would not work. Fox News Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry is here with the latest. Ed? Good to see you, Greta. Interesting, these emails coming out tonight, first broken by Fox News. Uh, Republican Daryl Issa obtained them uh, from uh, the uh, Health and Human Services uh, Department, the, some of the contractors involved in healthcare.gov. Uh, what they suggest is that about a week before the October 1st rollout, uh, there was a meeting in, in which at least one top White House aide expressed concern. Uh, this is uh, an email by Henry Chow from CMS uh, saying that Todd Park, who was the president's chief technology officer had sat down with a meeting with several people, including the CMS chief, Marilyn Tavener. You'll remember she testified on Capitol at the beginning. There's Henry Chow, who testified yesterday. Uh, and, and Chow wrote at one point, quote, when Todd Park, again from the White House, and Marilyn were here yesterday, one of the things Todd conveyed was this fear that the White House has about hc.gov being unavailable. He went on to say that it was likely that Todd Park would come back on September 30th, one day before the rollout, and, and Chow wrote, quote, I think we should have a more comprehensive answer as to how he will ensure high availability on the site. He also, uh, that email you just saw was another email suggesting that they do something with the page when people had trouble logging on. They come up with a better way of saying you can't get on so that the media didn't jump on it with, in, in the words of Chow, hyperbole to make it seem like things were worse. Here's the bottom line. The president last week at that news conference, you remember, suggested it was sort of a surprise, these major problems, and that if he had known about this before the October 1st rollout, he said, I'm not stupid. I wouldn't have gone forward. This raises more questions tonight about why they did go forward despite these concerns. Now, a top White House official a few moments ago told me, look, even before the rollout, uh, they warned that there might be glitches, as there are in any rollout of any product, and they also take some heart inside the White House that part of what these officials were worried about, the fear that was referred to there, was high, heavy traffic on the website. They did get that, as you know, and they still think that means that there is a lot of interest in this product, Obamacare, and that they realize they've got to get the website fixed. That's obviously a big if to get that done, but once they do, they believe that in the long run, this law is going to work. But tonight, there's new questions about what they knew and when they knew it, Greta. Well, and I got my information. Obviously, I got this email, which shows that they had attached, or this uh, copy, the screenshot attached to the email that was going on that uh, you sent me, which it says the system is down at the moment. And obviously, they were making an emphasis of how bad it was. But do you know what's the most uh, the shocking thing to me? This whole thing is that what they were worried about was not that they, they mentioned nothing about the consumers trying to get on the website and oh, wasn't this horrible what's happening to the American people. What they were worried about is the media ramping up the hyperbole about the government's website not being functional. No mention of the American people getting access. You're, you're right. And now, we should note, in fairness, that we don't have the other emails. There's undoubtedly more documents that are likely to come out in the days ahead. We'll see if they expressed a fear, as you say, that they should have, about how this would affect consumers, obviously. But you're right that w part of this email does show how worried they were one week before the rollout about the media jumping on people being unable to get on. If there's one thing they got right, Greta, it's that. They knew that the media would jump on this if it was a failure, and the rollout turned out to be just that, Greta. And Ed, so that we're fair to them, you're at the White House. Maybe if they have those emails where they show so much concern about the American people at that time, they can just run them out to you at the live shop. We'll be here for an hour. And, uh, and you can read them to us if they got you know, all those we'll other emails that show briefing. that. We'll ask the next briefing. You're right. Yeah, we'll right. say, where are the rest of the emails? Right. Ed, thank you. Good to see you.